So a slashing minor. On Bronzinski, first power play. Seamus Casey shoots and scores. Seeing shot might have beaten Justin Close through the legs, and it's a power play goal for Michigan. Pitlick, the one-timer blocker to side by Noah West. It's been a pretty open period here. Shots 12-4 in favor of Michigan, and they get their second goal. McGrordy to Brindley. Splendid passing play, and the Wolverines lead by two. Well, if you want to come into Minnesota and beat them, your best players have to play just like expected. Casey gets a goal, and McGordy to Brindley. Great puck movement. Finds a Bermuda Triangle of the Minnesota defender there, and Brindley uses his speed to gain entry. One shots last night for Michigan, 13 already, and they've scored twice. I would imagine the message from Coach Nara Narado was something to the point of not good enough, boys. 21 shots, not Wolverine hockey. Justin Close turns the puck over, and Michigan scores! They lead 3-0 now. That stunned look of Justin Close, who came out to play that puck. Actually, a go for defender does a nice job to try to play goalie like he's playing street hockey there. A stop up on the goal mouth there able to shovel that in close comes out to play it it makes contact no that Michigan player catches it Gophers won 6-2 last night Nelson scores off the bar oh my Oh my, was this an absolute laser beam. High to the short side here, they spread the puck across the ice. Well, Mason never says, yeah, I'm not gonna pass that. I'm going high to the short side. An unbelievable individual effort, just snapping those wrists. Gets West down on his knees. And look at this one from this angle. Back for it. Snuggerud for checking. Brindley, a little bit of an opening, shooting, scores! Gavin Brindley, a laser, it's 4-1 Michigan. Great deception with the puck traveling east-west, making it difficult for Minnesota and Nathan Area as it goes one way here, the drop back against the green. Area actually set the whole time. Brindley rips that one back against the green. Left side of the net. Their place in the playoffs. Redirected in front. Little life for Minnesota. Brody Lamb the deflection. They've had Michigan's lead. Well, this play is going to be. Start at the Gopher blue line in Middlestead. Couriering this puck to his left to let the lane open up. He threads the needle down there, and the Rangers draft pick, Brody Lamb, who's stymied just a few minutes ago, gets the deflect. Nevers now pitching it in. He'll try to chase it down. Brodzinski sealing, sealing the near wall. Jackson Nelson looking to bat. Jackson Nelson show continues for Minnesota. Well, after a great battle along the wall, the Gophers collect this puck, and I think that West thought that that puck was going to be passed over to the far side. Luke Middlesex in defense joining on the back side, but you were right. Nelson. Good keep in there by Middlestad on the point. Really good keep as he had two players around him. Wow. Hand right up in his face of, by Warren. Wrist shot. 
from Cal Thomas. Wide off of Weston in. Minnesota's tied it. Well, Aaron Hugelin gets the goal, but this play was made by a dogged determination on the blue line by Luke Middlestead to keep that puck in. Gets his face, drove into the wall there, backs it up. And then this shot right here allows Huglin to attack from the goal line, and he may have banked that puck in. Can't wait to see more intimate view. If you want to be critical, there's actually four sevens on that one down. You get the idea. I wasn't listening to you again, Ben. Probably wise choice. There's Brindley. He'd be a player. If he had to just circle one. Rebound. Rutger McGrody finds it on the doorstep. Michigan finds the lead again. That's the line that's all the way from the face off. Michigan wins the draw, sends it in along the dasher. Michigan retrieves, goes high to low, back up high. McGordy gets lost in that slot area. Truscott with the C9 wrister that creates the rebound. And sure. Gophers gather possession eventually. Nelson in front. Place, right time. Let's revisit this from the job. Jackson Nelson Brindley effectively tied his puck. Brodzinski gets into battle, and Nelson's going to collect this off the wall. Patiently moves down. Middlestead sneaks by the Michigan winger. And kisses this one off the goal. Shot from the point gets through. Shivsky can't get the rebound. He keeps it alive, though. Right in front, Duke misses the tap in. Michigan almost the game winner there with Seth. Back on the back end. He'll be joined by Chesley. Two rough and tumble defenders. Michigan on the power play here for a minute. McGrordy, the one timer that's blocked by Cal Thomas. That one hurt right there. Cal Thomas paying the price for his netminder. Player to watch is Duke right on the top of the goal crease. And look at how close his heels are. A few swings and misses in front. Seamus Casey, 25 to go on the power play. Brindley fires Chesley the block. Gavin Brindley again. Seamus Casey wins it in overtime for Michigan. All of a sudden, Coach Motsko, after seeing Mason Evers and some others, have discussion about a hand pass. They're discussing that with the official. And that's what we saw. I believe it was Brindley that was down, trying to hold that puck in. Not sure how the puck could have been held in. Well, I guess it was just wedged or lodged up against him that it could have been contained that way. The officials now convening in a four-man discussion. Minnesota is challenging that there was a hand pass that led directly to the goal. a good challenge goal. by Minnesota. They've got nothing to lose. Take a look. So the ice is confirmed there was no hand pass, and we've got a good goal. So Michigan wins a thriller with Minnesota roaring back in the third period. A power play marker 
by Casey. Scored early and then put this one to bed with the second of the night for him. Brindley deals. Duke, top of the goal crease, screen, airy. Huglin and the other Pelican Killers have to cut that ice in half, which they do, but Brindley deals back to the one time in Casey for the victorious marker. Snaps Minnesota's eight game home winning streak. Michigan, they avoid the sweep. 